Hi there, my name's Jessica Jordan. I have a little pottery in Worthing, which is called Phil Place Pottery. And since uh, we've all gone into isolation, I had to shut down my pottery, unfortunately. So I'm now working from home. I do have a pottery at home as well, a little studio, if I'm honest, um, which is fine. It's full of rubbish, but um, I'm slowly clearing it out to, so I can start working again for myself. And I just wanted to take you through a couple of uh, pieces that I've done over the years um, and just give you a bit of a talk through um, some of my work. So I've got um, one piece here that I'm going to show you in a second but I'll just tell you a bit of brief bit of history about myself so I uh, went to university about 25 years ago which is quite scary um, and I uh, studied at the Summit Institute of Art Design where I did my um, degree and I did my masters as well um, and it was all in ceramics so contemporary ceramics and I absolutely loved it um, after coming out of that I went into uh, teaching so I taught for about seven years at one of the uh, colleges uh, quite sort of local to me and again loved teaching absolutely loved it but then about say about 15 years ago I decided to become self-employed so after becoming self-employed um, I started up my own business from home and from there I've grown it to actually then have the studio in Worthing where I also sort of teach because I realised how much I love teaching um, my main work is about landscapes and the patterns and textures that you see on the landscapes and how they're formed. So whether a man has um, gone into the surface of the, the actual land and scarred it or misshapened it um, or if it's just a, a field of red, which is the poppy seeds, um, that's sort of the poppy seed heads that come up. Um, or a river and how that winds through the actual green fields. That's really beautiful. I get thoroughly inspired by that. So I take aerial shots of different landscapes from around Sussex and I abstract those and paint them onto the surface of my pots. Um, the abstraction of it is not just about just sort of showing a beautiful landscape. It's also about sort of um, showing uh, emotion and feeling at the same time. So. When I am looking at the landscape, what I'm also doing is I'm taking on how I'm feeling at the same time. So it becomes a bit of a mixture of um, beautiful landscapes mixed with a bit of emotion um, and um, a bit of angst sometimes. So I, I, a lot of my emotions go into my pots. So I've got one here which I'll sort of show you. So um, this one here is a piece that i done about six or seven months ago I was doing a project with uh, King's uh, College University in London and they were asking me about time and motion and what I do within my time and how I could um, produce a piece of work based on that um, and what my feelings were at the time so I was in the studio and there was lots of noise going on and lots of things going on um, and I was very wound up and not angry but just very anxious at the time so I produced this piece here and it's all sort of swirly and motions and at the time I was sort of going through a few sort of issues with my, my own self and um, I called this one the eye of the storm um, and I just loved it and I was also looking at um, the weather and the weather patterns and we're having a lot of storms and lots of wind and rain and um, the seas were looking stormy as well and uh, I just took all of that in and then sort of produced this sort of piece here. So this is from one of my um, developments uh, for King's College uh, and it's called The Eye of the Storm. So this is a hand-built piece so I roll out the slab of clay first, I then paint it and decorate it um, and then from there I'll, I'll work into it a couple of times with different oxides or different slips, um, different techniques. Um, I sort of don't just really sort of stick to one technique. I play around with lots of different techniques on the surface, treat my clay almost like a canvas really, um, really sort of working into those um, surfaces just to sort of really get how that emotion is affecting me at that time. Um, the landscapes are more of a way of me being able to um, express 
you know the, the emotions the feelings um i suppose it's the landscape of my life really in some respects and how i how i developed over the years um so that's just one piece and what i will do is i'll take you through a few other things and we'll have a chat about it um thank you for listening um and we'll see you again soon take care bye